guys, I'm Alice and today's video is all about how to survive in Turkey. Also, thank you guys so so much for supporting me and I read all of your comments. That's really cool, so I'll be doing more. Anyway, let's get into business. One, let's talk about oyster. Yeah, we do have a card, but it's not called oyster. We have got a card called Akbil. But the thing you have to know about Akbil is it's changed to every city you went. So if you're in Istanbul, you have to use Istanbul card. If you're in Izmir, you have to use Izmir card and else. So what you're gonna do with this card? This card saves your life, obviously. Like you can uh, write metro, metro bus, normal bus, and tramway, and tunnel, and etc. You can buy coins to metro, metro bus, or tunnels. But you cannot ride any bus without an Akbil, so you have to get one. The card looks like this, and you have to put some money in it. Where can you find this card? These kind of buffets, you can find them and, you know, put some money on it. Also, we have got this, and this is a machine that you can put money on it, but you cannot take any cards from them. The thing is, you cannot walk anywhere in Istanbul. Let's talk about Istanbul, because where I live... Well, you can walk, but it's um, not that common in here. So you have to take a bus or anything like that. Two, buses. So now we're talking about bus and this is the time for us to, you know, get in deep. Well, bus have schedules, but uh, they're not on time. So you have to wait for a long time sometimes at night. You can find bus nearly to everywhere, but if you see a metro or metro bus or something like that, please just use them because the traffic is awful. Like if you want to go to the European side, to Asian side, you have to take the metro bus or take a ferry. This is the only thing you can go somewhere on time. Also, you have to use the front door to get into the bus, not the back door because the machine there is in front. Four, metro bus. Well, metro bus is the the best thing to, you know, go one end to another. But you shouldn't be getting that metro bus in some times, like 6 p.m. to like 8 p.m., I guess. Also in the morning, like 7 to 8 a.m., I guess. I'm not sure, I'm not using that because people will crush you. If you're not an active person, you're not gonna get into that metro bus because people will smash you like this up to get into metro bus, so that's so hard. So I guess now you pissed off. Five, taxis. Just don't use taxis because the traffic is awful everywhere, like everywhere. So if you have chance, just take the metro or just metro bus. If it's not the time that I say you shouldn't do it. Even if it's so close to each other, just don't take a cab because the traffic will kill you. I suggest you to walk down there. Six, let's talk about nightlife, bars. Some bars don't allow men to get inside without a woman. That's sometimes a problem because some good bars do this. So you have to have a girlfriend with you to get into that bar. They're doing this because they don't want girls to get molested from boys. Seven, market check. So if you're thinking to live here a long time, about a month or more, you have to know all about the markets. These are the markets we have. The two of them are the biggest markets, you can find all of the brands, but the other ones are the smallest markets and they don't have the same brands, they're just selling the cheapest brands. But the thing is, the big markets have like, uh, you know, expensive and they want your money, so you have to check all the markets to find out which one is selling that brand cheaper. Maybe this seems doesn't important for you, but in general, it's so important that you can save your money. I normally check out internet for you know those markets before I go to store. So I know where to find and which one is cheaper. Seven, tourist areas. Shopping in touristic places means like not one Turkish liras, it means 50 Turkish liras. So just don't buy anything from them. basically, they're selling the same thing in everywhere, like you don't have to be in a touristic place to find that one because this is Turkey, this is Istanbul, so you can find everything and everywhere. Just don't be fooled. Deal. You go to a store and then he says like 50 Turkish liras for something and you have to say no. You don't want to pay that money because it's like, it's normally it's the 20 liras, but he's just doing it for, you know, he knows you're a tourist. He wants your money and oh my god so you have to say like no i can only give you like 20 and he was like no this is not and 
you're gonna you know talk and he's gonna fight and and then you're gonna be taking it for Turkey no be active be active in any places buses stations restaurants or some stores like people can get in front of you because you're just a shy person here you have to try hard to get whatever you want oh my god my hand 10 car parks so if you're visiting a long time or you just rent a car the thing is it's so hard to find a car parking line in the city center also it's so expensive and some places we have got this government's places they're cheap but then the other ones that people just have a place and then an hour is like 20 turkish liras that's insane no also in these places the roads are too small it, that it's you know the traffic will be more than anywhere because everybody wants to go to the car park but the car park is too small but we have got like 50 cars so oh. 11 street animals so i know in european countries they don't have like street animals all over the place but if you're scared of any cats or dogs beware we have got cats and dogs and everywhere every corner every street so don't be you know shocked if you see lots of lots of cats or lots of lots of cat or dog food all over the place because most people just want to you know feed them and love them like like me this is my cat margie and i got her from street so yeah i like her so much and i also feed lots of lots of cats in here near my house um so yeah <laughs> if you're scared of animals mm, you'll get used to 12 traffic lights just don't count on traffic lights even it's green for you the cars sometimes won't listen so yeah mm -hmm. life hack even if it's a green just check out and any cars are coming or if it's coming so fast just don't don't pass so please 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 be careful just don't fight on the streets like don't fight with a car 13 alcohol so here in turkey maybe it's not for you but for us it's so expensive to you know get some drinks even in a supermarket not only in the bars so but the bars are like double double the price so yeah also after 10 p.m we're not selling any alcohol not selling them in the supermarkets but you can go to a bar and drink till three four five <sighs> because this city is not sleeping bitch some bars can charge you money before you're getting inside just don't pay it just don't go there just we have got like lots and lots of bars lots and lots of good bars and they're not so much expensive so you have to you know check out the area first and maybe then you can go somewhere else or you can buy and drink with your friends in your house or apart or an hotel room 14 smoking well you cannot smoke inside in a bar restaurant or somewhere else if it's saying it's okay then yeah like hotels and stuff and some sweets i don't know some flats i just really don't know but normally we can smoke in our apartments but the householder doesn't want it so mm. 15 drugs we all know that drugs are illegal in here too so if they catch you with a marijuana you'll go to jail i'm talking to you holland people you cannot take your drugs with you people just keep asking like ah oh, can we find drugs in turkey yes you can find drugs in turkey but it's illegal you can find it in anywhere nearly like all around the world but just don't try it 16 vegans if you're a vegan or a vegetarian it's so hard for you to find some food in here yes we have got falafel stores or salad stores or something like that but obviously turkey means kebab as people all around the world says but there are just you know yeah we have got like meat everywhere you can find meat in any restaurants nearly everywhere but the vegan ones um it's so hard for you to find if it's a crowded um, you know shopping center or something like that you can find it I get stressed for today hope you guys like it hit that button down below I can't speak right now so if you guys like it and if you have any suggestions to make a new video about please help me comment down below I'll be reading all thank you guys so so much for watching uh, if you like it please share or give it a thumbs up that's it for today bye uh, what should I say